Hey guys, welcome back to another Gaming Memories video. Here we are taking a look at a unique comparison of the original Ridge Racer versus the Ridge Racer Turbo or High Spec demo that was released as a package with Ridge Racer 4. So here I just want to showcase the unique comparisons between both in terms of visual style and what were the ideas behind each of the games and what they mean to the PlayStation in general. So as you can actually tell, you can see the differences between the two in terms of the visual quality. And just to do like kind of like a background as to where they both started. So as you can see here, this is the original game. And it actually started, the first Red Racer game originally was the main launch title for the PlayStation. And it actually started off in the arcades in 1993 as one of the first mainstream 3D kind of arcade racers that was later ported onto the likes of the PlayStation. So it ended up being the original launch title for the PlayStation in Japan as early as 1994 when the PlayStation was first released. And then later on then when it was released then in America and then when we got it in Europe in 1995, Red Racer was also part of the lineup of games that was actually released at the time. So there, were, there was a total like of six games that were released with the PlayStation and this was actually the main racing game of those that bundle of six games of its launch. And Ridge Racer had already gotten a, pretty much a well recognised name in terms of the arcades because it was well rounded and this game is considered to be the best version or best port of the arcade available pretty much on any system especially at that time. So as you can see here, graphics as well, like for a 32-bit system is actually really, really good. Like for a very early title, it definitely sh showcased what was actually possible. The fact is that they could actually port an arcade version of a game and put it onto a console that and still looked as good and played as well. It's very, very crisp, very, very solid. There was no lag or no slowdown in the game and it was control system was very very good and it just looked phenomenal so it did for its time it really really did like I remember when I first seen it and I first played it I actually thought it was really really cool definitely and I just am a big fan of the Ridge Racer franchise in general so it's definitely a really really good game so it is and anybody that knows of this original title I'm sure anybody that knows about the PlayStation knows about Ridge Racer because Ridge Racer is pretty much one of the most iconic franchises ever in the history of the PlayStation and quite rightly so. So you'll see now in a minute the comparisons pre pretty much between the two and you can see the differences as, I, as you can see here on the screen this is just a side by side reference of the differences between the two games and you can see the visual representation of each. On the left you have actually have the original game and on the right you actually have the high spec version and you can definitely see the differences between the two one ended up being a launch title while the other primarily was actually a work in progress kind of version to test the graphics engine for the likes of the upcoming Ridge Racer Type 4. So that's pretty much where the Ridge Racer Turbo high spec version was actually born. And clearly you can see here they literally took everything from the original game and they rebuilt it pretty much from the ground up using new enhanced models, new physics. And even if I've mentioned in previous videos, again, I'll leave links in the description. This game originally started off life as a testing phase for the upcoming Red Racer Type 4. They wanted to test it to see how much they could push the graphics capabilities and the frame rate of the actual game. Because as you can see, if you've played Red Racer Type 4, you can see the graphical quality of that. It's easily one of the best looking games ever on the PlayStation. Only Gran Turismo would be better. But even at that, it's the, it's the two of them that are right up there at the top is among the two of the best looking games pretty much ever on the PlayStation. This was definitely a testing phase, so they wanted to see if they could get up the graphics and have the graphical capabilities, but also to be able to run at a higher frame rate. Now, they were able to get it to up to some degree, but they couldn't actually run full game at 60 frames per second because it would always kind of like glitch out and would start to bug out. So they managed to find a go-between or an in-between between 
having really good graphics and still having a decent frame rate so that the game could actually play just like it was originally intended and as you can see when you do go to play Red Racer 4 you can see that that it plays really really well so this game here ended up being a testing phase for that now the game itself comes along with the likes of it's got it's got pretty much the full original game on it the only things that are kind of missing is the fact is that you don't have all of the soundtrack and you're not able to have the multiple cars or 12 cars race cars on the screen at any one time and that's obviously due to the test and what they were doing so the likes of the frame rate issues as i mentioned but at least you pretty much have access to the full game you can still go in and do every single one of the races and literally go through the entire campaign you have everything pretty much there and you have an addition as well where you can unlock the white angel race car that was actually originally part of ridge racer revolution so they added that into the title as well so it gives you an extra incentive to literally play through it. Technically it's the full Ridge Racer experience, the full game, just with a few things just taken out but a load of other bits added in. And again, it was just used as a testing phase, but primarily a lot of people buying Ridge Racer 4, and in myself included, originally bought it just to play this game. And you can clearly see why. So you can see the differences between the two. So I'd love to know your thoughts then in the comments. Of what you think of the comparisons between the two which one would you be your favorite or do you still play both let me know below so if you enjoyed this video please be sure to leave a like also be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to be updated whenever i release future content and also feel free to share the video as i am going to be doing a lot more of these type of verses or comparison type videos to showcase different variations between different games and to show which is good and what's not so good about them so that you can see for yourself and I really just want to get the chance to actually relive the old classics and even to get to explore other games that I never got to play on the PlayStation and share my thoughts, experiences and opinions with everyone. So as always, make sure to keep playing those classic games and enjoying them. And keep those gaming memories alive.